Hey guys, what's up? And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. This is the Christmas special for the channel. Um, just like last year's Christmas special, I'm recording this baby ahead of time, but unlike last year's where I spent like a whole month editing, I'm literally recording this 10 days before Christmas, and uh, I already got most of the editing for what I need to edit for the transitions and everything done. But anyway guys, this year's Christmas special, instead of doing a review, I figured I'd do uh, something a bit untraditional, a uh, top five list of not the best Christmas horror movies, but the top five worst Christmas horror movies. Now, there are, and let's be honest here, a decent amount of bad Christmas horror movies. Jack Frost's pretty bad, although I absolutely adore that movie. Elves is pretty bad, even though I like that movie as well. But there is actually not that many that I can honestly find that I didn't at least kind of like, or that I didn't um, mostly like. There, there weren't a lot that I could find that, that weren't just like, uh, yeah, this movie's pretty watchable, um, or pretty entertaining, but it's still really bad, and I don't really think it's that great. But I found five, so yeah, that, that's that's what we're counting down. Um, obviously, it has have to be Christmas-themed horror films, um, there's no real criteria other than that. And without further ado, let's kick this baby off with number five. Starting off at number five, we have Don't Open Till Christmas. This is a film that centers on a madman going around killing everyone he sees dressed up as Santa Claus, which is very different from the usual kind of holiday slasher affair. Um... Usually, it is a madman dressed up as Santa Claus, uh, and he's going around killing just everybody. That being said, this movie is very, very bad. The writing is bad, and things happen that don't make any sense in the film. It's, uh, there isn't much that goes on in the entire, uh, film, and the killings are kind of few and far from in between. With all of that out of the way, I kind of enjoy this movie uh it's still absolutely just god awful um but there's a small part of me that kind of enjoys it it's it's uh it is very stupid and it's pretty boring at times uh but i think it's one i put on every few years every two or three years um just to see if i can sit through it again um and it's more of a mystery kind of whodunit than it is a slasher film. Uh, but the mystery plot gives off a kind of interesting vibe. That along with the things happening at uh, completely random. But it gives this film a kind of unsettling, strange, surreal feeling. But overall it is an absolutely just god-awful movie. Directed by the guy who was the um, killer in Pieces the legendary uh, 80s uh, Spanish slasher film, uh, which I think everybody loves that movie. But now we get on to number four. All right, now at number four, we got the remake of Black Christmas. God fucking damn, do I have a lot of say to say about this film. First of all, the original Black Christmas, in my opinion, is a nearly perfect film. It's creepy as hell, it builds a great atmosphere, the killer is never really seen, and little is known about him, and that is kind of the beauty of him as a slasher villain. Now we kind of get to the remake, which replaced all this atmosphere, all this tension, all this kind of not knowing the killer's backstory, with a kind of complicated backstory about him being the product of, I guess, incest, and his parents hated him, and he is, like, as bright yellow as that yellow bastard in Sin City, which, that yellow bastard was so yellow, he bled yellow. Mm. But basically, they replaced all of that with mindless gore, changing Billy from uh, a creepy, uh, faceless 
stranger making up a scene phone calls and hiding in the attic and like I said into that yellow bastard from Sin City um, it's it, and he's also a cannibal and he seems to love Christmas for some reason other than that the sorority girls are loud-mouthed and really really fucking annoying and you just want to see them all die no this is um, another one that I will say is absolutely just god-awful and terrible, especially when you compare it to the remake, which the remake is, not the remake, but the original, which the original is uh, a god-tier film, in my opinion, um, a near-perfect movie, I would say. When you compare this to the original, um, it's, 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 it's just one of the worst fucking things you've ever seen. But if you put it on in the background uh, while you're, uh, like, let's say, I don't know, uh, writing the script for a video like this, and you're just putting it on and you're mainly watching it for the scenes of gore, then it's kind of worth it. But even then, some of the gore is pretty bad in this movie. Uh, that's number four. We get on to number three now. Now, at number three, uh, we have Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, and I don't know why. I really, I really don't. I really wanted to like this movie. I really did want to like it in that bad movie way, the same way I enjoyed films like Elves, for example, or uh, I enjoyed uh, Jack Frost. But... Other than the infamous garbage day scene and some of the flashbacks to the first movie, um, it's really just boring and the main character who is the brother of the killer from the first film is just uninteresting and boring and he seems to know every single little detail about the murders his brother committed even though he wasn't there for the murders, like every last little detail. Um, it's, it's, it's honestly just a very, very boring movie, and other than, like I said, the infamous garbage day, um, scene, the, the, the movie is, 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 is bad. Um, I've always said that, you know, a bad movie, it, it's okay for a movie to be bad as long as it's entertaining, but if a movie's so bad it's boring, that's worse than, uh, just a bad movie, and that's what we have here as a result. We're on the home stretch now, ladies and gentlemen. At number two, we have Jack Frost 2, Revenge of the Killer Mutant Snowman. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I love the original Jack Frost. The J original Jack Frost is an absolute piece of shit. It's so bad. And it's so just unfunny and stupid in its attempts at humor that it is an absolute laugh riot. And it at least tried to kind of take itself seriously, which made the ridiculous of it, the kind of ridiculousness of it, um, even more funny when juxtaposed to the um, somewhat serious tone and acting that the people gave. I would compare it very much to uh, to probably something like. Uh, Elves, for example. Elves is another movie that's absolutely fucking off the wall ridiculous, and the acting is fairly solid, and everything is fairly kind of straightforward and serious in how it's all uh, portrayed. It's, it's not stupid or goofy. Now, the second one. The second one decided, hey, People liked how crazy and stupid and over-the-top the first one was. Let's make it crazy, stupid, over-the-top, and this time 100% acknowledge it, therefore ruining the perfect combination of, of, of the juxtaposition of the terrible uh, everything in the, in the kind of serious tone and just throw it out the window and tries to be so stupid and so over-the-top 
to the point that it isn't funny. It's it's actually pretty fucking cringy. Um, it, it's 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 absolutely just fucking cringeworthy how hard they tried to capture the ineptness of the first film, which is what made the first film great, and how hard they fucking failed at it. I would almost compare it to Birdemic 2, how the director realized, hey, people like my movie because it's bad, so I'm gonna make a sequel that's self-referential and is absolute fucking cancer. I, I don't know what else to say about this movie. It is an absolute fucking piece of shit. But, as you saw, as I told you, this is only number two. Number one is the crowning achievement of shit Christmas movies, and I can promise that. <laughs> And the number one worst Christmas horror movie of all time is the Lucifer Valentine film Black Mass of the Nazi Sex Wizard. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this isn't a Christmas movie. Well, uh, kind of, it technically is. Uh, according to what I've read and some of the imagery in the film, uh, it has to do with uh, murders taking place on Christmas night. And it takes place before the events of the uh, initial Vomit Gore trilogy, which is uh, made up of slaughtered vomit dolls, regurgitated sacrifice, and slow torture puke chamber. Now, if you want to hear my full thoughts on this film, uh, I actually reviewed it earlier this year. I will put the link in the description below. The short version is, uh, much like the other entries in the uh, Vomit Gore trilogy, it is a pseudo-snuff slash fetish porn film about a guy who is a Nazi, who is, who, about a guy who is the self-proclaimed Nazi sex wizard, and he kills women and makes them vomit on each other and shit like that on, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and because of the Christmas imagery in the film and the fact that it takes place on Christmas, that makes it a Christmas movie. So, therefore, Black Mass of the Nazi Sex Wizard is the absolute fucking worst Christmas horror movie I have absolutely ever seen. It is absolute pure fucking garbage, just like all the other entries in the, in the Vomit Gore trilogy, and it will forever be one of the worst fucking things I've ever had to sit through. With that out of the way, um, that completes the top five worst Christmas horror movies I have ever seen. And, uh, that's, that's basically it. Anyway, guys, you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, Happy whatever. You guys have a good day. Uh, this is Biscuit Boo Horror Reviews and wishing you guys a Happy Holidays. Peace.